Okay. Are you are you new to Windows 8? Yes, I am. Well, let's get started. Look As you can at see, those graphics. I know, right? As you see, this is your lock screen. When you first turn on your computer, you'll see it. But yeah, the best part is what? HD. Okay, we're good. So this is the login screen. This is you'll see your user photo, user name, and password. So go ahead and put your password in. But wait, before you put it in, we need to check if it's right. If you go to the eye, you'll see it. It sees all. I know. Let's go. Okay, so you remember Windows 7? Yes, I do. What's the most useful function of that thing? The start button. But it's here. But where? But here. This is everything the start menu had and more. Not possible. But first, what's the second most important thing? The thing you see when you first log in? The desktop. And it's here. Wait, I can't see it. But it's there. See, the start menu is actually comprised of these tiles. And the best part is, the desktop is always there. And it's right there. So now we're back to the desktop. So Everything, familiar. Everything's there. Okay, so. What's the other thing you look for? You know, your photos, your music, your movies, your calendar. Yeah, it's all on my desktop. But it's there. But you're wondering how do you get back to the start menu? Because there's no start button. Yeah, I'm stranded. But it's there. Go to the bottom corner, the bottom left hand. And guess what? It's there. It's there. <laughs> so, you're wondering, tiles, desktop, cool. Where's everything else? So when you first enter into your start menu, Everything's there. You have the calendar, the video, the music, the photos. Now, at home, you have internet, right? Not right now. You're not at home, are you? Uh, no. Then guess what? You can access stuff like the weather, the mail, finance. But guess what? what? If you had internet, it'd all be there. Such a shame we don't have it right now, right? So now, first, we're going to work about navigating the desktop. You know where thing or navigating the start menu. You know where thing is, right? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, guess what? If you take your mouse to the bottom of the screen, you'll see that there's a sliding bar. Really useful. But say you know you touch things when you use the mouse, you end up clicking. Yeah. If you use the arrow keys, you can still navigate. Oh! oh right there. Right there. Okay. So now we're gonna work on tiles. Tiles, you say? Tiles. You know the best? Okay. So, desktop's there, everything's there. Weather, too big. It is. I don't like the big, bright sun. If you right click on it, you can make it smaller. Like that. And guess what? It's too small. You can barely oh. see it. Hmm. If you want to make it bigger, right click on it, you can make it larger. Back there. So now, are you a sports guy? Mm, not really. Neither am I. Guess what? what? We don't need sports. If you right click on any kind of tile, you can unpin it from your start. Thank it's goodness. gone. Thank goodness, I'm so relieved. I know. So now, everything's here. You don't like the order. You don't like weather right there, desktop's too high. No. If you if you left click and hold, you can move it oh. and organize it any way you want. It's amazing. Bam. So now, but the bad part is, before we get to anything else, tiles, some cannot be size changed. Oh, some can't? No. Operating systems, pr uh, documents, and web browsers cannot be resized. Such a shame. I know. So now that you've had everything the way you want it, let's customize it. Oh, how do you do so? If you go to the top right hand corner, you'll see your username and your little picture. Now if you go to change account picture, it'll bring you to the full customization. So many options. I know. See that little gray man? Yes, I do. It's hideous. It is. But guess what? What? You can't change it. Oh. Because it's a new computer, oh. or it's a new Windows 8, oh. you don't have any new photos. But they're there if you have them. Unfortunately, we don't. Nope. Look at all those pictures. And there's so many. That purple, though. I know. Continue. So now, start screen. Fit, you know, count pictures, all good. Start screen, hideous. Purple, who likes it? Mm. I know, right? It's what a hot pink. Yes. You want to spread the hot pink? What? Hot pink Africa. Oh! oh. Actually, I like more steer, some more ge uh, steampunk. Right there. Let's go red. Oh. 
looks nice. It does. Now, now that's done, lock screen. Bam. Who likes Seattle? Mm, I do, actually. I don't really. Oh, okay. I don't think well, it is. It's hideous. It's nice. You want nicer than that? What? Piano. Piano. Oh. Yep, and yeah, now we're for two black and white. Let's yeah. go with Honeycomb. Awesome. Just beautiful. It's amazing. And that wraps up the basic Windows 8 start screen and customization. Unbelievable. I know. Thank you for joining us on Tech Tips. And that was Tech Tips on Windows 8 start menu and customization. Unbelievable. Yes.